If there's one thing that will help you to become a good violin player, it would be good practice habits. In this video, I'm going to share five of my most important practice habits to help you become a better player. The first practice habit is to practice every day. In that, it is more important to practice a little bit every day than to practice a lot one day and a lot less on the other days. Regularity in violin practice is key. And you will see that a lot of people that have practiced the violin over the years for just a few minutes a day, but regularly for many years, you can see that they became pretty decent violin players, even though they didn't put that much time into practicing violin every day. So your first to do is to Schedule a time in your day that you're going to practice. It has to be only five minutes. Truly don't make it so much that you feel like you cannot stick to the plan. Just a few minutes a day and you will start to notice your progress. The second tip is to structure your practice session. So if you are practicing it, makes sense to have a plan or a practice plan to help you structure your session. And if you don't have a practice plan yet, I have a freely downloadable practice plan on my website that you can download below this video. In your practice plan, I recommend to have one section for skills and abergios, another section for exercises and for etudes, and one section where you are practicing your pieces. The third best practice habit is to always check your playing position before you start practicing. Check your bow hold and check your left hand hold. It really makes sense as this is the foundation of your playing. If you have a great bow hold and left hand hold, everything will sound better. The fourth great practice habit is to be deliberate. You should know what you want to focus on and what you would like to achieve in your practice session, even if it is just playing one bar better. The fifth very important practice habit is to practice slowly. Practicing slowly will truly help you to practice things well. So it is a lot better to only practice half of the piece, but really go through every bar slowly and know exactly what you need to do every bar than to rush through it and maybe make a lot of mistakes that you aren't noticing because you are going so quickly. You can always speed up the piece later. I also have a bonus habit for you, and that is to break things up in smaller chunks. So on the moment that you are practicing, it really, really helps if, for instance, you have a difficult section that you don't say, I am practicing four bars and these four bars need to be perfect after my session, but that you really break it down. So maybe you practice one run at a time, maybe first only the first bar, then the second bar, then put them together. So break things up in little chunks so that you can have an overview of everything and then it gets so much easier to play it later on all at once. I hope my five practice habits helped you and inspired you to start practicing right now. So I would say quit YouTube, download your practice plan below and start practicing. Put two skills and the purges on the plan, two of your exercises, for instance, a great bow hold exercise or a straight bowing exercise. And next to that, two or three of your favorite pieces that you're going to practice every day. Mark the days that you are practicing and I'm sure that this will help you to get into a great practice habit. Hope to see you next time for my next video next week. Please tune in again for the next lesson. Bye bye.